the meteorite hurtles towards Earth. Pedestrians pay no attention to the meteorite. Isaac records in the forest. He watched the meteorite fall into the valley shortly afterwards. The Army sends in warplanes and special operations teams to cordon off the area. Isaac doesn't think it's a meteorite. He goes into the woods and notices something in the sky. Waiting for a closer look, he spots a giant flying saucer. Isaac prepares to film the scene. The saucer suddenly disappears. Isaac senses someone behind him. He slowly turns around. A wide-eyed alien appears. Isaac turns on the video camera. The alien pauses for a moment and prepares to leave. Isaac finally remembers that he must run away, but the alien won't let him go. The flying saucer releases a blue light and envelops Isaac. Isaac wakes up on top of the mountain, a sharp pain in his arm, but the alien Aliens can't find Isaac's video. Isaac returns home. He wants to know what the aliens did to him, but the television has suddenly disappeared. It seems to have passed into another dimension. Isaac suspects he has acquired superpowers. He stares intently at the television. He could make objects disappear and reappear, but Isaac felt that his arm hurt. After an examination, the doctors found that Isaac's arm was broken, but there were no scars on Isaac's skin. The doctors didn't know why. Isaac had to ask his friend for help. He found a cop. He transferred the top to another dimension in front of his friend, but his friend thought it was magic. Isaac seeks help. He decides to put the video online, but this gets him into even more trouble. A mysterious disc is hidden in the valley. It emits a blue light that sucks in any human intruder. Isaac seeks help. He publicly broadcasts the video of the alien. The footage quickly attracts the attention of the internet. TV stations call Isaac to invite him to appear on their shows. Isaac also attracted negative comments. Many people attacked Isaac verbally. They thought Isaac's video was a fake, but Isaac also obtained information. A young girl named Sarah was also kidnapped. They met in a cafe. Sarah told Isaac. In 1979, Carl was also abducted by aliens. After Carl passed the official test, he disappeared for good. Maybe finding him will lead Isaac to the truth and what the aliens are really up to. Isaac didn't know how to find Carl. One day, Isaac met an editor who believed in Isaac and who wanted to help Isaac do something about it. He thought that to gain everyone's trust, Isaac had to pass a lie detector test. Isaac thought it would be easy. After passing the test, the editor-in-chief left on purpose. Then two mysterious men burst in. They forced themselves on Isaac. Isaac broke free and fled. He was then knocked unconscious by the mysterious weapon. He wakes up and doesn't know where he is. Through the glass of the room, he discovers that Sarah has also been taken in. A man in a suit appears on TV. He's an agent from the UFO Research Center. He wants Isaac's cooperation for some research. But Isaac doesn't want to cooperate. The man breaks free and knocks out all the robot guards. He then finds Sarah's room and sets her free. Together they escape from the Institute, faced with an army of guards and planes hovering in the sky. They must find Carl as quickly as possible. With the help of a hacker, they find Carl's co coordinates. After traveling hundreds of kilometers, they finally find Carl's house. However, the agents have planted a tracker on them. Carl learns the identity of the two men. He let his guard down. Next, Carl shows them the mysterious machine he has developed. Why do aliens abduct humans? The translator Carl has invented will answer the questions. He has detected a mysterious signal. The aliens will arrive on Earth in five days. Time flies. A thud is heard outside the house. Isaac thinks it's an alien signal. He enters the woods and senses someone behind him. When he turns around, Isaac encounters the same aliens he's seen before. Back at Carl's house, the translator comes into play. The aliens retrace the origin of the universe. The human body contains a special aura. This material aura supports the origin of everything. Sarah asks the extraterrestrials, why do the abduct these arms hurt. The aliens place a bracelet on Sarah's arm. The group is shocked. The bracelet comes off and cuts Sarah's arm in two. Then a miniature capsule flies off. The alien says it's a tracking device. It records all information about the host. While the aliens remove the capsule for Isaac, the agents arrive with the agents. They shoot at Carl, who tries to resist. Even Sarah, who was innocent, was killed. Isaac feels bad. The aliens told Isaac to use his mind to save his life. Then the aliens disappeared. Isaac became calm. When he opened his eyes, a shockwave swept through the area. Everything slowed down tens of thousands of times. It transported Carl and Sarah to another dimension. The aliens who had disappeared also appeared. They brought Carl and Sarah back to life using their mental powers. The agent is baffled. He looks at the giant magical spaceship. Isaac and Sarah managed to escape capture. They set up a small store on a deserted beach. Carl has also set up his own research institute. He continues to research strange things. Maybe we're not alone in the universe. Maybe aliens are already prowling around us. 